The GOP's coronavirus relief bill contains funding to essentially construct a brand new FBI headquarters in Washington, DC. And if this proposal is carried out the way that the White House, Donald Trump specifically, is envisioning, it could make the Trump organization quite a bit of money. Again, going back to nonstop violations of the emoluments clause, Democrats refuse to hold Donald Trump accountable for that. And now we see in real time, we've been seeing in real time, how much of an impact it has on our tax dollars and decisions that are made by Congress. So Trump would like this brand new building in Washington DC. The previous plan was to build the FBI headquarters in the DC suburbs. But there would be an issue there because it could potentially open up some competition for a Trump hotel in Washington DC. So the White House has been trying to find ways to include funding for this new FBI building in the next stimulus bill in in response to the pandemic. Now, it turns out that Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell was blindsided by the inclusion of the provision in the Republican proposal. I wanna go to the next video where you can see his real thoughts on this. Why is funding for the FBI building in this bill? I'm not sure that it is, is it? There's a limitation to honing in on the COVID-related matters, so we'll get more information for you. Look, I think this is a starting place. You can see that we've had a lot of our members involved, and we can't pass a bill in the Senate without Democrats, nor obviously can it pass the House. So every bill has to start somewhere. The Republicans are in the majority in the Senate. This is the starting place and we'll get, you all will have plenty of stories to cover along the way as we have these discussions back and forth across party lines and with the administration. So Benjamin, obviously the funding for a brand new FBI building, nearly $2 billion to fund this by the way, has nothing to do with financial or economic relief related to coronavirus. I just wanted to get your thoughts on the video we just watched because it was clear that Mitch McConnell was blindsided by this and does not agree with the inclusion of this particular provision. But you forget, Anna, inside of it of the bill, it says that it's in to help the FBI prepare for the coronavirus. So, you know, I, I'm not sure exactly how they're gonna prepare for it when it's a full-blown pandemic in this country and it's it's kind of late for that. But the 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 rub here really is Donald Trump's role in this and the role he's his concern with the FBI building be potentially becoming some competition for him. But what when I researched this story a little more and I went back to some of the talking points they gave originally in 2018, they really cast this as something as because Donald Trump is a real estate mogul and that because he has the insight and he has the ability to make sure that the American tax Bayers get the best deal. And that was kind of the end of the conversation. I think what has to happen here is that reporters have to press every single day that this comes up. But they should not have ever stopped back in 2018 and just accepted at face value that because he made some money in real estate that he was qualified to dictate where the FBI headquarters should be stationed. Mitch McConnell isn't the only Senate Republican who is against funding this new FBI building in Washington, D.C. Uh, Senator Lindsey Graham was asked about it and he said that makes no sense. And Senator John Barrasso um, also said that this funding should actually go through the annual government funding bill instead and added to me, it's not coronavirus related. Now, let me be clear, I'm not, I'm not giving Republicans any brownie points. I mean, they have covered up for everything Donald Trump has done time and time again. So it wouldn't surprise me that uh, the Trump administration would find um, some shady ways to sneak in funding for this new FBI building. But yes, the FBI building that's currently in DC is near the Trump Hotel. And if they were to vacate it and build a new FBI headquarters in the suburbs, that plot of land could be utilized for a brand spanking new hotel that would compete with the Trump Hotel. Which is exactly why these types of conflicts of interest matter, they matter for all the Americans who thought, Oh, this awesome candidate who's gone bankrupt six times happens to be a great businessman. So why don't we elect him because he'd know what he's doing. Obviously, he doesn't know what he's doing. The only thing he thinks about are the conflicts of interest and how he can use the office of the presidency to benefit himself, to enrich himself. 
and benefit his own businesses. That's it. It's just so devastating considering what millions of Americans are going through right now with a lack of income, with lack of financial relief from Congress, no health care. This is America. This is what we're dealing with. And it's shameful to say the least. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.